the use of robotics in cardiac surgery allows to perform these operations through very tiny incisions in the chest, uh, through which we insert the robotic arms and the instruments in the patient. These incisions are about eight millimeters in length in between the ribs, so there's no need to open the sternum or, or distort the chest cavity, allowing the patient to recover much faster. And we are able to perform with the robot uh, the same operations we do, but inside of the heart of the patient without opening, opening the chest. Robotic surgery, uh, compared to the most uh, common minimal invasive approaches, uh, allow us to reduce further the, uh, the aggression of the surgery to the patient because incisions are smaller, uh, the need for rib spreading is, is no longer uh, there, and all that allows the patient to recover much faster with less blood loss, less pain, and with a better cosmetic result. And not only uh, recovery is faster in the hospital, but also the time needed for the patient to go back to the normal activities of his life. Not all cardiac operations are uh, susceptible to be treated with robotics, but we can treat a fair amount of them, especially all the operations performed on the mitral valve, uh, for which we can repair the valve or replace it. Also for the tricuspid valve, we can also treat uh, atrial septal defects, which are uh, congenital defects of the heart, in which two chambers of the heart are communicated. We also can treat uh, some tumors of the heart, particularly uh, atrial myxomas, which are benign tumors. And we can also treat arrhythmias, particularly atrial fibrillation, which is the most common arrhythmia in the world. In the future, we believe there will be an increase of the number of operations performed with robotics as the technology progresses. And also with improvement in diagnostics because most, more, more patients will be diagnosed earlier and will get the most benefit from, from this type of minimal invasive operations to fix their problems in the valve, in the mitral valve. Also in the future, uh, we believe more uh, different types of pathology will be susceptible to be treated with robotics as the technology improves. And currently, we are developing this technology to treat also the aortic valve, which is now, now not uh, a pathology that we can treat with robotics, but uh, by doing that, a lot of patients will probably benefit in the future. Mm -hmm.